The central bank raised its key interest rate by a half percentage point in an effort to combat high inflation. So what does this mean for Americans? It's going to cost you more to borrow, simply. Fox 9's Bab Santos is live in Minneapolis tonight. Babs, how will the impact uh, face home buyers? Well, for example, if you were looking to buy a home for about $400,000, you'll now likely have to scale that back by as much as about $20,000. And here in Minneapolis today, we saw a similar situation playing out firsthand. I'm really proud of her. She, she made a good decision. First time home buyer Ivy Robinson's realtor, Kaisha Williams, has been searching for a new place for Ivy to call home since January. It's been really crazy. We've been looking for about five months. So it's been a little hard. You know, we've been outbid at least seven times. Down the stretch, homes were selling in just two or three days, with bids coming in anywhere from ten to $60,000 over asking. But despite everything, this week, Ivy has finally found a place to call her own. Yeah, the light rail is right there. This townhouse near downtown Minneapolis and the University of Minnesota. And so I feel like ultimately I, I won. But only after clearing one final hurdle. When she did purchase this particular home, we found out that she could not afford exactly what she was pre-approved for initially. So it was really disheartening. All because on Wednesday, the Federal Reserve raised its benchmark interest rate by a half percentage, the most aggressive increase in more than two decades in an effort to fight against the worst inflation in four decades. It's just evening out the market. It's not something to be really alerted about. Uh, people are kind of going crazy over it right now, but to be fair, it's what it was prior to COVID. Still, the move has effects on those looking to buy. It brought my buying power down. Once pre-approved to buy this home, suddenly Ivy had to go back to the seller and renegotiate for a lower price. It was a really hard decision because they could have said no, and then I would have lost the home all in. Ultimately, the seller was understanding. We're able to move forward and close tomorrow, so. It all worked out. I'm happy. I'm so excited. I feel blessed. Now, not everyone will be so lucky when this all shakes out, but exactly how unlucky some might be will also come down to a variety of other factors. Back to you. All right, Babs, thank you.